Hello everyone, welcome to Provisual Tutorials. In this video I will show you how you can easily set up and showcase your design using Provisual and our 3D models. Let's head to the 3D models section and select an object for our tutorial. There are so many high quality 3D models in the library and on top of that it's updated weekly. Look at this bomber jacket with t-shirt. I think we should use this one for our tutorial. Let's open it and take a closer look. It looks trendy and so much in fashion. Let's create a new project. So this is how our Bomber 3D model looks like. Let's zoom it in. Look at how detailed it is. Wow! Now let's start editing and change the material on the main part of the jacket. Let's open the Materials tab and choose a material that suits us. Changing the texture size as well as the color of the material. You can either select or customize the color using the color palette, or enter the color code manually, like this. Next, let's update the material settings. That's exactly what we need. The material on the bomber looks great. Now let's change the color of the collar. Moving on to the zipper fly to change the material. Let's also change the size texture and change the color. Like this. Let's move on to other material settings. Great, I like it. Now to the sleeve pocket. We need to change the material here. Also changing the texture size and the color. Updating the rest of the material settings. Now the pockets, and we start with the material again. Then changing the size of this texture and the color of the pockets. Adjusting other material settings like with the rest of the elements. Up next, the zipper tape. Here we will also change the material, color, and polish other material settings. Great! Our bomber is transforming. Moving on to the cuff. Let's edit the standard material. The color and material should be adjusted to meet that specific result we're after. Looks great. Now, onto the inner side of the bomber. Change the material color, like that. Good. Okay, now what's up with the zipper? The default color and material suit me. Let's leave them as they are. But for the ring element, we will slightly change the color to a better match.
like that. A bit more and our bomber jacket is done. We won't change the material and color of the lock as well. Next, we'll change the color of the braid element. And set the color for the seams. Great! We're done with setting up the materials for the bomber jacket. Looks very stylish. Now let's work on our t-shirt, zooming in to see the texture of the material better. Replacing the base material of the t-shirt. Next, changing the texture size and the color. Refining other material settings. Now we'll edit the color of the collar. And adjust it a bit. Let's move on to the collar stand element and change the color of the material. Excellent. Now let's move on to the inner side of the t-shirt. I'll never stop being amazed by the quality and the details. Let's proceed and change the color. The inner seams look magnificent, but we should probably change the color here, at the seams element. Wonderful. We've set up the materials and colors for our bomber jacket with t-shirt. All the details look superb. Let's make the highlights on our model more pronounced. We need to go to the Environment tab. Here, you can rotate the light sources horizontally and vertically. Let's reset the lighting to achieve the desired look. The materials on our model look natural and real. Let's save the project and proceed to adding a design to our model. To add the design, you can click on the Add Design button on the Design Layers panel. Or you can download a UV map and create your design in any other editor. I've already prepared some images for our bomber. Let's add the first design element. In the opened window, we see an editor where we can move and modify our design. The position of our design is displayed in real time on the 3D model in the left window. Let's reset the coordinates of our design's position. Saving the design. Now let's add a new design to the jacket. Good. Next, let's add a design to our t-shirt. You can reduce the opacity to see the edges of the UV map better. Very good. The design on the t-shirt looks magnificent. Let's save the design. Our bomber jacket with t-shirt looks cool. Let's change the color and material for our bomber jacket design. We need to select the design layer and change the material. Like so. And next we will change the color.
It looks amazing. We'll adjust the material of the design a bit more. Nice. Now let's select another design layer and replace the material with a different one. I'll set different values for the material. I really like the result. Let's change the color of the text on the zipper tape. We'll also adjust the material a bit. Superb. The bomber jacket with t-shirt looks very stylish. We just need to add a nice background. Let's see what kind of pre-made backgrounds we have available. We can choose a solid fill as the background or we can go for a gradient fill. Here, we can select the desired colors and also pick the direction of the fill. Linear or radial. You can also pick one of the pre-designed backgrounds. You can also add your own image. Let's do it. Excellent. You can turn on the moving lights. You can also rotate the 3D model to see how your design looks in motion. After you've finished your design, you can share it by clicking the share button. Share it with your colleagues, friends, or clients. That's the end of our tutorial on creating a trendy bomber design. We hope this was helpful for you. See you in the upcoming tutorials.